Hello everyone, Saurav here for Simple Snippets with yet another video for the Getting Started with Python series. In this video, we will be learning all about user-defined functions in Python. A user-defined function or a function in general is a block of code which is encapsulated under a particular name so that whenever we wish to execute that same block of code again, we can just use this function and call it directly. This improves readability, reduces redundancy, and is a really good programming practice. Here's what you need to know about a function. First of all, it needs to have a name. It may or may not have parameters. A parameter is a variable you pass into the function so that we can use it within the function body. So in this case, our parameter is called fruit. Finally, a function may or may not have a return value. A return value is a variable which the function sends back as the output of executing that function. So over here, we have a very generic example of a function which takes in a fruit and returns the juice. Let us take the example of a login feature which we discussed in one of our previous videos and define a function for verifying if the user has access to the system or not. So I have a new Python file here called functions.py and the first few lines here get the username and password from the user. We now define a function using the def keyword. The name we will give it is has access. This function will take in two parameters, which is the username and the password. Inside the body of the function, we will use if conditions to check if this user has access or not. So right now, if the username is Saurav and the password is one, two, three, four, then we will return a boolean value of true to indicate that the username and password combination is correct and the user has access to the system. Otherwise, we will return false, which similarly indicates that the username and password combination is incorrect and the user does not have access to our system. Now that we have defined our function, we can use it from anywhere in our code. We will make a call to our function like so and pass in the username and password which we get from the user. We will also store the return value of this function in a variable called verified. So this verified will hold either true or false depending on what the function returns. Now we can simply make a check if the user is verified or not and based on that we can print access granted or access denied. Now I'm going to go over to my terminal and we can run the code to see what we get. So it's asking me for my username. So I will enter Saurav. I will enter 1234 as a password. And it says that access has been granted. When I run the file again, I will give a wrong username and a wrong password. And it will tell me that the user has no access to the system. Like I said earlier, a function need not have any parameters and it need not have any return values. Here is one such example of a function which when called prints a line and terminates without returning anything. And we can call this function just like we called the function before. Just that this time there are no return values. So we need not store it in a variable. Before I run this Python file, I will comment all these lines out and only execute these couple of lines here. So when we run this file, the function gets called and it prints, hello, I hope you are doing well. Also do note that a function can have more than one return value as well. 
in this example i have defined a function which takes in two values a and b and it returns the result of addition of those two numbers as well as the result of subtraction of those two numbers and we can simply separate those return values by a comma while calling the function we can specify two variables to receive those two return values so in this case i have a variable called add result which will store the result of the addition and a variable called subtraction result which stores the result of the subtraction so i will call the math function with values 5 and values 1 when we run this we get the output 6 and 4 so that brings this video to an end if you like this video please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video